episode, and uh, roof's complete, and I've also done a lot of work on the house. Uh, the reason why there's so many of the chandeliers is because they weren't providing quite as much light as I had originally intended. And I finished the greenhouse, as you can tell. Everything hasn't quite grown. Uh, I didn't actually put the flowers the whole way around because, well, to be honest, I'm not even entirely, entirely, entirely sure if I want the flowers in there. Moved the bed up here, so that's nifty. And I uh, added a whole other part to the house. Now, it looks pretty cool from the inside. This is supposed to be a kitchen. This box has uh, the food in it. This is, of course, the uh, master table with the chandelier. There, I don't have any lighting up there, but I have half slabs up there to prevent the, uh, the spawning. And I'm sure you can see how this may not look right from the outside. Let me just uh, head out here and show you guys what's going on. You see, the thing is, is it's roof... The, I'm probably going to have to do something with the center roof because I'm sure you can tell you can't even, like, see it at all. So, that's probably going to get redone in the future or maybe I should just redo the whole thing now, but I don't know. It's going to be a lot of work taking all of that back down, that's for sure. So, I don't know. That's going to be a little while. Uh, haven't done too much else. I, of course, moved the creeper so that way we could... Otherwise, it was just under the stairs. And these torches are here because I needed the light because uh, it was too dark there. Same with these uh, here. Put up some torch sconches. Uh, because I need a laying around the outside. I thought about doing it over the doorways, but kind of had decided against it a bit. Still haven't done anything with these chests, and there's a slight issue now. Can't open my dirt chest. I slaughtered all the wood I had. It's pretty bad now. Uh, the, uh, the bookcases, getting a little bit better, but not quite even remotely close to done yet. Made an axe because of all the wood chopping and whatnot I was doing and put an enchant of four on it. I'm actually quite happy with unbreaking. Got another diamond shovel. Um, I harvested a lot of sand after the last episode. Like, there was... I cooked up uh, 16 stacks of glass. This just goes to show you how much I've used already between that and all that gla back there and all that up there and finishing off that and all the glass that's used over here in this room. I am going to need a storage area, but that is not what's on the agenda for today. Today, I'm making a swimming pool. I haven't quite decided how big I want it to be. Uh, do you have an idea on what I want to do for the borders of it? Is it going to I think I'll just make it so... Yeah. I'll, see, I want it to more or less connect to the porch thing, which is kind of bad. I might do something about it. I haven't decided yet. But, uh... Because I'm going to put a gravel walkway into the uh, greenhouse. That's pretty much one of the biggest problems here. And uh, I've got two buckets of water now. So, I should be able to make the pool fill itself in once I get uh, enough water in it. So that'll be handy. Hmm. I kind of feel like it should be longer. Which means I'm going to have to chop out some of this mountain. Hmm. Well, I guess if this is the edge of this gravel walkway so that's three wide, but we're going to pretend that doesn't exist because it's probably like, it's probably going to stay there, but uh, access to it is I expect it to change sometime in the future. How far in the future, that's a completely different you know, thing to go on about. We'll figure that out. But uh, 
decided I wanted to line the entire outside of the pool with uh, uh, stone half slabs, which I made a bunch of stone because I was making it for in the main dining hall slash kitchen. And basically, I made half slabs with a lot of what was left over. Not all of it, of course. I've still got a stack in the redstone chest. And so I've got almost four stacks of uh, regular stone left. And I used three stacks to make all of the half slabs I have here. Which, after I made it, I was like, oh, that's probably way too much. And... All I have to say is, it was definitely way too much. One reason is I keep on forgetting that uh, it's six half slabs per every craft now, as opposed to the three that it used to be. You know what? I know what we can do with all these half slabs. We can use them as floor for the pool so the whole thing looks fairly uniform, I guess. Something I haven't done a very good job at it this entire time. And, uh, so, yeah. Ooh. You know, I was just about to fill that back in, and I was like, wait, I'm planning on digging that out. Whoa, that was a weird, complete camera rotate. But, uh, yeah, filling in the pool should be fairly quick and easy. Um, Half slabs, not quite so much, but I don't really have too much planned for this episode. I I kind of built the uh, the kitchen area there without telling you anything about it, and I kind of feel bad about that. But that, I'm making up for it by giving you an entire episode of me building the pool. Because that's exactly what you wanted in place of me, not showing you the kitchen. An entire... Well, maybe not an entire episode, but an episode centered around building. I personally don't find them too interesting myself, but... And there will be more fighting episodes. That will be in the future. I just wanted to get my whole house established. I wanted to have somewhere to live before I could, you know, set off, out, continue. And building the house before doing anything else seemed like an important thing to me, so... I'm working a lot on the house. Um, I'm not gonna use diamond armor despite all the diamonds I have because it's pretty cheap. And by cheap, I mean not in a good way. Oh, do this. What am I doing? Okay. Whoops. Keep taking from the wrong spot. Now, once I get this set up right, it should... Okay, so it didn't quite chain reaction. But it will eventually chain reaction and fill itself entirely up. There we go, like that. Now, why not fill these both up? So, that's our pool. Not quite sure. I don't know. It's good. I think it needs some lighting, but uh, I'm not going to worry about the lighting until I've gone to the nether. Speaking of which... Well, first of all, I need some lighting. Speaking of lighting. But, uh... The nether. I have... Hmm, I why that's in there. I managed to... Not managed. It was pretty simple. But I got some uh, obsidian. And... Let's see, I need a flint and steel. Oh, I never know which order to put these in. Here we go. Uh, I don't need all this stone on me. My redstone box is here. I still haven't made a storage area. It is on my list of things to do, but it's not important enough to me at the moment to really care, so I haven't done it. Oh, I can't get rid of this dirt, because my dirt box is stuck. 
I guess is the word for it. Hmm. Might as well throw it in here. Nowhere else to put it. I need to do whoops, a lot of things. Uh, like, for example, I think I'm going to make some iron armor. You know, I could have just right-clicked and then worked from that, but whatever. It's too late for that. One, oh. Wow. Don't I feel dumb? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. And, uh, if you're wondering why I just had an iron helmet sitting in here all by itself, I actually got it off of a zombie. Yep. One of the, uh, the new rare drops added. Now I have a pair of iron pants. And I'm sure you'll notice that there's nothing showing up my character. That is because I have armor set to be invisible. All armors. Now I actually kind of had an idea. I wanted to make them, like, different colored... Do you mind? I wanted to make them, like, different colored, uh, Kevlars, basically. Do you mind? Uh, what was I making armor for? Alright, I was gonna go to the nether. And with that mentioned, I should probably take the bow just in case. Um, I'm not gonna need that axe in the nether. So, there we go. Hopefully I don't really need the sword, because if I do, I'm probably gonna be kinda screwed. Now, I'm probably, you know what, I'll put it over by the, uh, I don't want to just bury it at practically bedrock level. So I'm going to put it in the wall over here. Because this place so far seems to just be my stash things area. If I never want to see it again, it goes over here. Hopefully, I can do this without hurting too much of anything. If you're wondering why this dirt was here, it's because I was trying to AFK gross the uh, the reeds one time, but I've pretty much given up on that. Thought I heard walking. Turns out it was me. I keep on hearing creepy noises coming from well, all around me all the time. Oh! I collected this using the efficiency pick just because of the fact that, well, I mean, like all the obsidian. Because obsidian takes way too long. I kind of want to put a different material for the back of this, but, uh,. There's our nether portal. I'll just go just keep the flint and steel on me. But these buckets of water, I do not need those in the nether. And all I want at the moment is redstone anyhow. Redstone? Glowstone! Not redstone. God, who's the crazy bastard talking here? It's just bad commentary. The one that doesn't even know what he's talking about. Can't even speak. Here we go. Bones? I don't need no bones. Kraber! Can't you see I'm busy? I don't need the shears there. Don't technically need the shovel, so I'm just gonna keep a hold of that. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that is bad. That is very, very bad. And I saw it coming. Yes, I realize I'm forgetting to fill in the bottom. I realize that my door is still hanging wide open because everything just got blown up. But I got more pressing matters. Temporary storage. Oh, 
dirt, 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 dirt. Apparently I didn't pick up the gravel. I'll throw the important things like iron and coal in here. You know, this is why I need to build a wall. Stone. Oh, that's not gonna work. Our chest. Oh, this is a nightmare. Gold. Why was there two separate stacks of gold? That's odd. I don't like my inventory. It's very odd. I need to get everything handled. Luckily some of the chests survived at least. Oh, this sucks. Really? Really? I just can't leave my floor alone. Whole house. Uh, okay. Screw it. Organization will have to wait. I need inventory and I need it now. Okay, looks like I got most of the things of importance. Uh, like I said before, I'll worry about organizing this later. Give me my bread back. Looks like I got a chest. That's always good. I was, I need, was, ugh. I was in the needing to organize this stuff anyhow, so this isn't all bad, but it's definitely bad. Um, wood. I know I had wood. Six planks. Oh. I'm about to be harassed. This is someone I met on uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. And... He, I don't know, for some reason, I guess he's been not happy or something about me not being around. Of course, he has my Minecraft stuff. This is why I'm probably going to whitelist the server, for sure. going on here? Who designed this place? Oh. He didn't see me on. I mean, technically Minecraft tells him that there's one out of whatever. But uh, I did some redstone work on his server, which I don't know what he's going on about, because I tried to connect to it once before, and I couldn't. Of course, I've had that issue with a lot of different servers. I haven't been able to connect to a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, I did not intend this episode to be repairing my house. Oops. 
But uh, that appears to be what this has degraded into. Do I have any more wood? Well, I should have wood in the other chest. Tell you what. I'm going to call this episode for now. I'll get my house fixed up, and we'll go to the nether in the next episode. And I'll deal with Mr. Angry, I guess, or whatever you want to call him. So, uh, see you guys again in the next episode.